Hey guys, what's up? Valerian Bell here. And today we're gonna to be talking about a project that is a hype train with no end in sight. Buckle up, cause this is gonna be one hell of a ride. It's Gothic Degens. Gothic Degens is a 4,444 supply NFT project that minted on July 9, 2022 with a price of 0.69 Solana. The story of Gothic Degens is a very interesting one. The founders, Gothic Lion and Gothic Goblin, originally intended this to be a Degen mint, which means they didn't really have a roadmap in mind. What really drove a lot of people to the project with no roadmap was the super unique art style. It has many medieval components to it and almost is like tarot cards. Ah yes, the emerald crown on the priests. You must have gotten airdrops and scam tokens today. Damn, these gothics are good. Holders of Gothic Degens NFT said that the first week after the launch, the vibes in the community were so awesome, with members creating their own gifts and memes, and the Discord just being a great place to hang out in and just have fun. Community members love the art style so much that they started asking for their PFPs to be converted into the Gothic style or Gothified, and these started popping up everywhere. The Gothic Degens team saw demand for the Gothified PFPs, and so they released a limited supply Goblets collection, which are NFTs that were auctioned off on Magic Eden, and holders of Goblets will be able to get in line to get their PFP gothified. The team basically put a process in place right away to give their holders what they wanted. Sure. They also started to create one of ones for influencers in the Solana NFT community to keep the hype train going. And what they did next is genius. They started to gothify not only one PFP from another collection, but a gothified version of an entire collection, calling these collab NFT collections. Yup, they created gothified collections of soul gods, goofy gorillas, ghost kid Dao, primates, all at a low supply. Now holders of those collections started to become interested in the gothic degens and of the gothified version of their collection, which drove up the price of both. Damn. Of the collab collection supply, Gothic Degens gives a portion to the collabing project and then keeps a portion to airdrop to its own holders. But wait, the plot thickens. Since the supply of the collab collection NFTs is so low, these NFTs are airdropped to only holders that meet a certain set of requirements. Requirements include things like holding a specific number of Gothic Degen NFTs, or holding a Goblet NFT, or having a combination of NFTs from the collab collection. You could also get airdropped if you're in the top 25 in NFT inspect, meaning you're a very active member of the Solana NFT community on Twitter, and you have a Gothic Degen profile picture. Basically, they're trying to reward their most loyal members. Some other collections that we should watch out for to be gothified are Stoned Ape Crew, Teo Robotics, and possibly D-Gods. Are you still with me? Because we're about to go deeper and the next part might be the coolest part yet. Oh, shit. Now, while the Gothic Degen core team is out creating collabs with other projects, there's something very interesting brewing within the NFT holders itself. There are three sub-communities that are based on traits of the Gothic Degen NFTs. The Red Skull DAO, Merchant DAO, and Ogre DAO also known as Shrek DAO. <laughs> each of these subcommunities is basically competing with each other, and their aim is to raise the floor price of the Gothic Degen NFTs with their traits. These subcommunities have created their own website, have their own whitelist collabs going on, and have their own roadmaps for growth and expansion. Guys, Solana is for the poor, they say, but Damn, do we have a lot of fun. <laughs> this was an absolute ride. I have to go make sure that my gothic degen is predicting the right things about my bags now. So I'll catch you next time. Till then, stay safe, have fun, and wag me, friends.